Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Tuesday, October 20th, 2020. This is 2020. I'm the Drunk Poker Group, Tis Beer Time. It's 10-20-2020. Uh, that's uh, 90, 10-20-2020. 20, 20, 20. That's 60, 70, 70. Wow. Lucky number 70. Why? Because today I'm at work, and I had a message from my pals at Collective Arts, and they say, hey, we got some drop off at the house. I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to poke home all day to drop it off there. I got home. This is after I saw some stuff on social media, and I was kind of excited. And I was like, okay, get home. <sighs> So sure enough, IP number 15 is dropping tomorrow. Now, they sent this out to some of my pals, too, so thanks, Collective Arts, for doing that. You know, we love you guys. We have been at them since, I don't know, early 2018 when they released IPA number 5, which was probably one of the most favorite IPAs. Uh, right now, IPA 5, IPA 8, IPA 11, I mean, just fantastic. 13, I think I like to. I have to, so many of them. Get home and we have this. IPA number 15. Hitting LCBOs. Uh, hits the taproom tomorrow. Double IPA with Citra and Simcoe. 8.2% ABV. This is uh, the recreation of IPA number 5, I guess. Uh, I was like, oh, 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 oh. You know what made me sad, though? When I went and looked at my old video with IPA number 5, I had the Collective Arts Spiegeloo back then. That's broken now. Like my spirit. Um, you know what? In a year, I've just... Oh, I can already smell it. Oh, so orangey. Uh, and a year of absolute, just everything was crap. Like, everything was crap this year. For Collective to do something like this, that's a nice thing. You know what? Bring bring back a beer. A lot of people didn't get to try. They just heard of. Oh. So Simcoe and Citra. I mean, Citra is a superstar hop. Simcoe is my favorite hop. It is the workman hop. It is the, the hop that delivers every single time. That's a lot of orange there. Orange and grapefruit. Let's go. Cheers, my friends. Thank you to Collective Arts once again for thinking of me. And, well, you know, I'm always thinking of you. i got a ton of Collective Arts beer in the basement right now, but uh, let's go at it. Cheers. <clears throat> so, here's the thing. I, I don't remember IPA number five. That was in January of 2018 I had that. That was many beers ago. But I do remember loving it. And I think I love this beer, too. <laughs> oh, so, so damn good. I vaguely remember beers. It's hard. It is hard. I don't care. I mean, maybe some people are better than I am. I'm not that, that much. I don't have that much of a memory anymore. Um, oh, man. Um, but, damn, there's so much orange and grapefruit, and there's, like, a dankness, and there's a pithy pininess, and it's smooth and bitter and bold and a little boozy. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's like Danger Will Robinson beer, because that is very tasty, and very easy to drink. Like, that is crazy, crazy good. So I, I don't know if you're going to sit here and ask me to compare to IPA number five. I mean, that was 10 different IPAs ago, right? I, I don't have that kind of recall power. I'm not that kind of magical. I'm not like the Harry Potters, and you do the thing, and then the poof pops, and I don't, I don't know what happened. They ain't butterbeer. Um, let me tell you this. From the vague recollections I have, it, it, yeah, sure. I mean, I think that was a double New England high, or a double New England IPA. I find this thing's a little more IPA-ish, but I, I mean, it could be wrong. Don't don't take my word for it. This is this a beer you're going to have? You want to have? Do you like IPAs? So that's the first question. Look at Do you like IPAs? Do you like double IPAs? Well, if you like double IPAs, you will like this beer. That's it. That's that's the key. This is all tropical, juicy, beautiful mess. So thank you to Collective Arts. We're making 2020 a little better. We're bringing the people what they want. Keep five alive. Johnny Five is alive. Cheers. Hot damn. Hot damn. Hot damn.